Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to how to create an Excel sheet dynamically to import data from SQL table in a space. So this is my employee table. It has 12 rows. I want to load this data into a, an Excel sheet. So right now I don't have any Excel sheet here. So now I am creating an Excel sheet on a desktop. So I am naming it as a EMP. So I want to load that 12 rows data, EMP data into this Excel sheet. First I am dragging the data product. Double click. So here we need to take the source as OLDB source because my employee table is in SQL, SQL database. So that is why I am taking OLDB source as a source. Double click to configure and select the database. So my database is here sample database and select the table EMP click OK now I am taking Excel destination double click so go to browse the Excel file where it is located now it is located in the desktop this is my Excel file select it and open and click OK. So here, taking the table viewer content, I need to select the, I need to create one table in the Excel sheet. So I am creating this table clicking new and I change the table name here, Excel destination 2, I am changing EMP data. This is my table name. So automatically schema is generated whenever you click on new button. Click OK. So here the drop down you need to select EMP data with dollar symbol. Go to mappings and these are the columns that you have the SQL table. All these columns into now Excel sheet. Now if you go and check your Excel sheet, open the Excel sheet. So one sheet has been created with the header names. Sheet name is EMP data. See here. This is sheet 1. And in the EMP data, that is the table name of created. So these are the 5 columns which is already there in the SQL table. Okay. Now, first part of the package is done. I am going to the control task one more time. Now I am dragging the execute SQL task. Execute SQL task. Double click. So here you need to check the connection type as Excel. And connection Excel connection manager. So in the SQL treatment, you have to paste the query. SQL treatment, whatever the query you have while uh, while creating the Excel sheet, the same query you need to paste here in the Execute SQL task and click OK. Now I need to add one more task in the control flow that is file system task. Just connecting with the file system task with Execute SQL task. Double click. So here my operation is the delete file. Delete file. So in the source connection, I need to take the new connection and existing file and browse the file. So I am selecting Excel and click OK. File system task is uh, configuration is completed. Now if you run the package, it will pass all these three tasks and load the data into Excel sheet. Now I am going to run the package now. Yeah. Package runs successfully. Stop the package. And go to desktop and open your EMP Excel 
see here data that is there in the excel sql table all folders are dumped into the excel sheet so i will explain the package now why we are giving three tasks in the control flow means so first file system task it first to delete the file so if you remove the if you disable this file system task and run the package it will throw error because see it will it will see an error so see here what happened emp data is already exists for that reason first we, we are assigning one file system task and link it with the sql task what this system the file system task will do first it will delete the file if the file is already there with this file is already there first it will delete and then it will recreate by using execute sql task it will recreate the execute sql task again it will create emp data schema after deleting the file from the file for file system task then it will move to execute sql task it will create and it will load the that is the reason we are using file system task if there is no file system task it will throw error because file emp data is already exists that is why first it will delete automatically and recreate by using execute sql task and then load the data from sql server to excel sheet by using data flow task so this is how you need to generate a dynamically excel sheet and import the data from sql table using excel server by using three tasks first one is file system task used to delete the excel file and second one is second one is execute sql task used to recreate excel file and third one is data flow task to load the data from database table to excel file to excel destination you need to generate the you need to create excel sheet dynamically for getting the data from sql table thanks for watching the video Thank you very much.